Well, good morning, Ben uh, Troy. You're now, we are coming to you live from the Ngong Racecourse, uh, where we are having the Agricultural Society of Kenya International Trade Fair. This is actually the very first after COVID in as far as the Nairobi uh, International Trade Fair is concerned. As you can see, there is a minimal um, activity, given that this particular event commenced on Monday and it's going to run all the way to Sunday. But what we are seeing right now is a heavy presence of security security as well as government officials. Why? Because uh, we are expecting Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa to officially open this uh, particular event. Over 400 um, uh, stakeholders are, are showcasing the products and services in line with this year's theme, which is uh, promoting uh, innovation and technology in agriculture and trade. What those are just as live pictures. We are right outside the live governors and council members' pavilion. A few governors have already got, gone through the, the pavilion, and the rest are just waiting out. And we're expecting also to see the newly elected agriculture cabinet secretary, that is Senator. Um, El Medica Lenturi, who was among the cabinet secretaries that were named by President William Ruto yesterday. We are expecting him, and any time from now, we are also expecting uh, Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa. Earlier on, we had a conversation with one of the financial um, institutions that is also uh, exhibiting some of their products and services targeting smallholder farmers given that they account for over 60 percent uh, of the farmers in the country a country that prides itself as being an agricultural driven economy contributing with the agriculture sector said to at least contribute if not 15 up to 20 percent to the uh, GDP of the country. However, over the last few weeks, we've also seen government uh, intensify its support to the agriculture sector and focusing on farmers. Just last week, we, ho we had the government release at least um, 8 billion shillings that was ordered to maize millers, as well as uh, 3.6 billion shillings in terms of a fertilizer subsidy and this is a conversation that is going to continue taking um, center stage as in the course of this week when uh, parliament is expected to be addressed for the first time in his maiden speech that is president william ruto but for now these are just the scenes uh, of uh, the ask show there we are expecting the deputy president anytime from now to officially open this particular event or ceremony if you like the first for the nairobi chapter after the COVID-19 stint that where we do not have any such gathering in 2020 as well as 2021. This year's theme is promoting innovation and technology in agriculture and trade with some of the exhibitors, especially from the financial institutions, saying that they have already begun tailor-making uh, products and services targeting smallholder farmers as well as MSMEs to support them. This is a group of um, a niche group uh, that has for years been referred as unbankable but now we are seeing a paradigm shift when it comes to availability of credit if the smallholder farmers can access a line of credit the institution the, the lending institutions um, that we have talk, talked to earlier say then this is definitely go, going to go a long way in supporting you know lowering the cost of production and also ensuring that in the event uh, that they're dealt with calamities like right now over 20 counties are facing severe drought and farmers there have been one of those who have been crying out asking government to continue investing in them heavily to ensure that we do not only go hungry uh, that we do not go hungry and that there is there is life when it comes to being a farmer that it should not, not be an issue where farming is going to lead you to poverty so anytime from now ben troy we're expecting Deputy President, as I mentioned, to officially kickstart this ceremony, or rather this event that is a week-long event uh, that started on Monday, the 26th, all the way to the 2nd of October, being Sunday. And if you grew up in the 80s and the 90s, you are sure that uh, the show was one place to either come as family or even as students. So we are likely to see, you're likely to see from our, fi uh, our pictures behind me there, children just crisscrossing, being given given a day off from school to actually participate in this event. So we're going to be live in not too long, but that's, this is how it looks like uh, for now. Back Thank you.